All right. All right, guys, do you hear me now? Am I heard now? I apologize. This was a technical problem from the broadcast uh, software. Uh, I hope you can hear me now. I think uh, it's going to work now. All right. So I wanna, anyway, we go from zero as long as nobody heard me. I apologize for this. Peace of Christ to all of you. And may the Lord bless you all. Uh, we, today we will talk about many topics. And the first thing is going to be the war between Israel and Hezbollah, which is called war. Uh, yesterday we heard the news that uh, Hezbollah uh, did attack uh, a truck in the border of Israel. And uh, Israel launched attack back. And the whole media go crazy. And those who support Israel support Israel. And those who support Hezbollah go crazy too. I mean, it's madness. However, both sides are naive. There is no such a thing. Nobody attacking anyone. This is nothing but a fake war. Uh, Israel, I made a video just two weeks ago, if you remember, uh, about uh, the fake attacks which uh, Netanyahu is doing. He, he want to make himself look like a hero. And the leader of Nasr Hezbollah, Nasrallah, he want to do the same. He want to look like he's a hero who is uh, standing for Israel. So both of them, they are filthy, dirty liars. None of them is going for any kind of war. And actually, have you ever heard of a war? Nobody even injured in it? That's exactly what we are talking about. So Hezbollah published in Twitter just two days ago that Israeli army, they are putting trucks. There is nobody inside it but toys, toys of soldiers, which means somebody looked like a soldier, but it is empty. And they were laughing like the Israeli are scared. The fact they are not scared. I mean, this is this is this is a uh, this is part of army tactic to uh, to avoid injury for their own real soldiers. So if you want to start an attack, surprise the attack. Well, you hit nothing. We lose a car. We don't lose a soldier. So this is a smart of them. So Hezbollah announced that, and they posted the video, the, the picture uh, two days ago in Twitter, that Israeli are putting trucks have fake soldiers and then a day after or 48 hours after Hezbollah attack a truck have one of those fake soldiers I mean what is that and then Netanyahu he uh, ordered his army to launch attack back and then guess what nobody get injured so both party nobody injured you know why because nobody shooting anyone they are shooting at empty land like you can go watch the, the videos which pe people are watching even from 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 the edge of the mountains in Lebanon, they are watching the shooting because there's no shooting. It is just a joke. So naive ones, they will be uh, believing, oh, now Israel under attack. Oh, now Hezbollah under attack. Allahu Akbar. The Muslims, they go crazy. The Shia and those who support Israel, they will go crazy. But both of you are being played by two liars. One, his name is Netanyahu. And the other one, his name is Nasrallah. And Netanyahu playing this game because he have... 14 days and 23 hours left for election. So the whole game is not about war. And there's no war. I mean, here we go. Hezbollah supposed the attack. Okay, what you would do, uh, Netanyahu? Nothing. He will wait maybe a day or two before the, the, the election, and he will do some other uh, uh, act of heroes. He will attack somewhere inside Syria mostly, and the attack will kill two rabbits and five chickens. And then he will announce in the news that he attacked a target for Iran. Iran is there and nobody getting injured. And what about if you're really, uh, if you are really trying to protect yourself from Iran, well, go and hit Iran. I mean, or, or go hit us for real. I mean, make a war for, but they are fake leaders. All what they care for is election. They don't care for their countries. They are caring for their own. And this is the case for all leaders this day doesn't matter they are Muslims or they claim to be Christians or Jews all is the same scam like Trump you know Trump uh, one day he will announce that Muslim Brotherhood are terrorists second day the Prince of Qatar he come and he buy 35 airplane suddenly uh, Air, uh, Qatar is not sponsoring terrorism so uh, it's a it's a you know it's a game it's a dirty game those who work in politics never respect them but fear them because they can hurt you they can launch fake wars, they can launch real war for the purpose of their agenda, 
not for the reason which is supposedly the war should go for so those things is dirty this is a dirty game and I advise people not to believe what you see in TV and don't believe what Netanyahu I believe Netanyahu he will end in jail sooner or later you see the difference between Middle East countries and Israel which is in the Middle East that in Israel there is uh, there is a system there's democracy there's people who go after you even if you are prime minister in the other country in the Middle East he can do whatever you want I mean Allah, he can rape ten women a day who is going to stop him nobody but in Israel if you do take a bribe they will keep going after you until take you down and this is what will happen to Netanyahu and you will see now we finished this topic I'm not going to talk about it more we have some Mohammedan in the chat and I saw their comment before and it was really a funny comment like there's a guy his name uh, 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 the uh, the cat of Islam he said we don't believe in that God my friend your dad your God is dead the proof to me that he's alive I mean look how funny this comment we don't believe in dead God thank you very much so you must then believe that Jesus never died solve this problem for me so if the Christian are wrong about Jesus that means Islam is right Jesus must be God because Jesus in Islam he never died this is how silly the comment of the Mohammedan they are silly and they have nothing to say it's a bankruptcy like Netanyahu like Trump like Ahmadi, uh, 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 what his name, Najad. All of them, they are like silly, silly kids. They have a low IQ and they say stupid things. So if Jesus cannot be God because he is dead God, well, Jesus is alive in both Christianity and Islam. And in Islam is even more horrible for you because in your cult, Jesus never died. So how you can solve this problem? You cannot. Silly, stupid talk. Uh, we have another Muslim here, his name, uh, Yuvil's Chunk. Uh, he said that Allah, he says, to respect other religion. Mr. Yuvil's Chunk, can you show me uh, where Allah, he said that? You said, you said that Allah said, respect other religion. I want to see where. Can you please show us? If you could not show us, that's mean you are a, you are a liar. If you were able to show us, I would be grateful. All right, I'm going to show me, no problem. Who is the Muslim want to show me that Allah, he said, respect other religion? Who is the hero? I'm waiting. Anyone? The verse you quote for me, cat of Islam, proven to me that you are really a silly person. That one it says, don't insult other religions. So that, because if you do that, they will insult you, right? He did not say respect him, you liar. So he's saying if you if you if you if you insult them, they will insult you back. They will insult Allah. But if this is true, and thank you for mentioning this verse, this is a proof that Muhammad is an idiot of the village. Because Muhammad he just said you should not insult other religion because if you do that they will insult you back. So why Muhammad insulting people? I will go to the verse you just showed me. This verse doesn't say respect you're a liar like your prophet. Nowhere it says respect other religion. It says la tasubu. Hmm. Let us love together. Chapter 6 verse 108. It says and insult not those whom they disbelieve worship beside Allah those first of all they are worshiping Allah still and this is a proving that Muhammad is a liar again because he is not speaking worshiping or uh, uh, respect other religion neither never respect any kind of religion he all what he's saying those who worship beside Allah which means they are Muslims like you they are Muslim pagan like you they worship Allah but they worship someone beside him like Muhammad so Worship beside Allah, if otherwise they will insult Allah. And look how stupid this statement is. Because how they worship beside Allah and they will insult Allah. Are you getting guys my point? Those people already they worship Allah. So how they will insult Allah back? That what I call stupidity. It's like somebody, you know, let us say the Muslim they say that the Christian they worship uh, God and Jesus. So don't insult 
God of the Christians, otherwise they will insult God. But they worship the God already. I mean, do you see how silly this is? This is stupid. This is this is dummy. Same time, as long as you are saying this is how you understand it, then that's Muhammad is an idiot again because Muhammad he said, curse the Christians, curse the Jews, and he himself he cursed them. Not only that, Muhammad even he cursed Muslims and he beat them up. So let us see. If we go in the Quran and we type. Uh, let us see. Okay, hold on. Let us go. Where, where, where want I go in the Quran? Uh, hold on. Let us uh, in the Quran. We can find. Um, look at this. Even your family, you cannot respect them. You cannot be nice to them if you are a Muslim. This is the Quran in front of you, chapter fifty-eight, verse number twenty-two. Muhammad said, "Not me." His God supposed he said, "Aka Allah, aka Muhammad." You, Muhammad, you will not find any of the people who believe in Allah and the last day making a friendship with those who oppose Allah and his messenger, even though they are their fathers or their sons or their brothers. I mean, what do you mean don't insult? You cannot even make friends with them. And the Quran called the Christians kuffar, mushrikeen, najis. What najis mean? Filthy, dirty. Not only that, the Quran, you are the one who posed for me before, you liar. That the Quran says that we are animals. So how Muhammad he says don't insult the Christian and the Jews, and he himself he insult the Christian and the Jews, and he insult everybody. Actually, Muhammad he insult even his God. So when a Muslim he make a statement, the, the statement is meant to deceive, not to teach, and that is very practical a way of Muslim to be Muslims. So look what Muhammad he said. Uh, here we go. Now, this website is really I'm using a keyboard. I cannot even control it. <clears throat> Don't insult, right? Okay. And an example of those who disbelieve is as that him who shout of the uh, 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 like of the sheep. This is a Muslim translation that they hear nothing but calls the and the cries and deaf, dumb, and blind, and they understand. In different verse, it says that they are the same as animals. Is that correct, uh, Abdul, or I'm making things up? The same as animals. Bal Adal. Let us see. Uh, this website is really horrible. But anyway, all, all of those verses is an insult. But look at this one. Chapter 25, verse number 44, it says that non-Muslims are cattle. They are cattle. They are like goats and sheep. Stupid. You know, they are, they are animals. So uh, uh, when a Muslim, he says to us, Islam teach uh, to respect, that is the most big, biggest fat lie ever. Not only, not only that, Muhammad, look what Muhammad he said. You see here, we don't give speeches like the Abdul. Here we give a proofs and reference. Muhammad uh, said, if you see a Christian or a Jew, you have to humiliate him, not only to insult him, you have to humiliate him. Here we go again, this website. Hmm? 
I could not find it here. Let us see. It's very, this very, uh, very, uh, uh, very funny to use this keyboard. Here we go. If any one of you uh, uh, see a Christian or a Jew in the street, what do you do to him? Never greet him with peace. Not only that, you have to force him to walk in the in the sewage, the narrowest alley of the road. So when a Muslim Abdul he says to us, Islam order us to respect other religion. Either you have to say he is a liar, or you have to say he is a liar. Choose one. Which one? Which one, Abdul? Liars. This is why I don't respect anyone really. He defend Islam because always they defend Islam lying. I never saw a Muslim, by the way, saying, yeah, this is true. Uh, the only one maybe that you can respect them if they speak the truth is uh, 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 ISIS. But how you can respect someone from ISIS too? Because those are the only one who says the truth about Islam. The rest are just a potato tomato. They are like rabbit hiding their head between their legs and trying to make Islam look nicer. Nobody wanted, nobody dare to say, yes, this is Islam because they are ashamed of their prophet. And this is exactly what we see with those Abdul in the chat. Who's next? Who's next? Do you agree with your prophet saying that or your prophet is a bad person? Muslim cat. Do you agree with your prophet saying that or you believe he is a bad person let us see if you will change your opinion hmm. another Abdul saying the following look at this just to show you you know like you know uh, this is why uh, sometimes you, you you have to ignore them we are like kids what is the other Abdul hmm. look at this Abdul what he said there is no taqiyya then then adultery will increase hmm. look at this no taqiyya, adultery, okay. <laughs> Too much hashish. First of all, adultery in Islam is allowed. Secondly, it is a destiny. Let me show you what your prophet said, Mr. Taqiyya, no taqiyya. Your prophet is obviously, he is a liar teacher. Teacher, He teach you how to lie. This is what taqiyya mean. And ask yourself, first of all, how you accept even religion, teach you taqiyya. Look at this. When you speak about zina, what zina? Zina is adultery. Okay, how, how you do adultery in Islam? Read. Read Allah. Allah, he wrote for you your destiny, how much adultery you will do. The Prophet said, not me, again, the Prophet of the Abdul, the biggest Abdul, of the religion of Abdulism. Verily Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which man will indulge. In, which means okay this is not a choice this is something you will do Allah he wrote for you your destiny how much adultery you will do it is a must you have to commit which is a necessity read carefully and which is which he of necessity must commit must commit <laughs> so what adultery I mean this is the most stupid cult ever so look at this funny guy he make you commit adultery, which is a com uh, something it, it coming from a necessity to commit, which means it's not a choice. It is a must. And then he will punish you for committing adultery. Have you ever heard of an idiot more than this? How this is can be God? And this is why I laugh when I see Muslim making comment. I mean, this is this is their comment is really childless. It's like a guy in the diver. All of them, they have beard, by the way, but they are in the diaper. They, you know, I mean, they are wet. Their diaper is not even dry. Next, who want a different, uh, next try, who want to do a better? I'm watching the text. The idiot is the one who believes three equal to one. Thank you very much. That is Islam. That is Islam. Because Allah, he said that Jesus is the word of God. He is a man. And he is a spirit. Three and one. Who is the stupid here now? That means Allah is an idiot. Isn't it Allah? He says that Jesus is the word of Allah and the spirit from him proceeding from him and the man. Three and one. 
how he is a word he is a spirit and he is a man and even your God Allah he present himself in three stupid comment you cannot even stand with your argument and by the way everything in your cult based on number three even your evolution is based on number three even your prophet when he say a statement he repeated three times everything in your cult is a three bismillah illahim three how many names Allah multiply of number three okay if you want to do evolution what you do I have to wipe my hand three times and blow my nose three times I don't know my ear ten ten time and why would why three times what about four what about everything is time is it at three time even when you take an oath you have to take it three time even when you divorce your wife the final time even when Allah he said to Mary when Allah he made Zakaria mute he mute him for three I mean this is the most stupid cult they speak against Trinity but everything in Islam is between and not only that what about the three musketeer Allah and Jibreel and Muhammad why they are three what about we have Allah and Muhammad hmm what is the Jibreel is about silly next who can do better until now we did not find one smart Muslim he can say something smart next anyone nothing it's an empty cult all what they have for you let me say that the smartest is a thing a Muslim he can come with to prove to us that Islam is from God is this verse which I like it very much by the way hmm. this is the proof that Allah is the God hmm. what is this proof let us see Allah will give us women with big breast what do you want more have you ever find found better God than this Always I wanted God, you know, who give me women in heaven with bigger breast. I like that. And this is very proven to me that Allah must be God. Hey, CP, you want to convert to my religion? My name is the Prophet Muhammad. Okay, Prophet, what your religion will promise me if I convert big boobs? What? Big boobs. Uh, you we are talking about like boobs boobs yes boobs uh, the one have nipples yes and you are telling me you have a religion you have nothing you have a joke try something better what else you have any Muslim have something for me convincing that Islam is from the true God anyone that's what you have boobs big boobs big 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 how big Big, 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 big. I'm really convinced that this is, must be God. There's no way this guy is talking. It's from a guy is a pimp from Las Vegas. No way. This must be God. I mean, come on. Hmm? Who is next? Mm -hmm. Look how many people will convert to Islam after we told them that Allah will give them big boobs. Women, they are doing surgery these days to have a big boob. So Allah will... You know, yeah. Anything? Any Muslim want to do something smart? What is next? That's it. Are you out of uh, ideas to prove to me that Allah is God? Yeah, I I, I remember the guy. What his name? Uh, U.S. Chunk. Uh, U.S. Chunk. Uh, yesterday he posted in uh, other video. I think it was yesterday he says how Allah knew you about the two C's my friend the two C's are exist in your head you need a you need the plastic surgery the same as one Allah he did to Muhammad if you remember have you ever heard of a God he make plastic surgery for his prophet and what is the purpose to install a dish of faith and dish of wisdom what the heck <laughs> But anyway, let us go here. As long as you are talking about the two seas, this guy he mentioned the miracle of the two seas by Allah. Miracle of two seas? Are you sure? Yes, brother, I'm very sure. Hey, brother, this alone is enough to prove to us that Muhammad is a big fat liar. Read with me. The two seas uh, appear in many verses in the Quran. The one they are talking about is chapter 25, verse 53. 
and chapter 55 verse number 19 but the chapter 70 uh, 27 verse number 61 it is explaining both and getting them busted it is he who made the earth firm to live in made rivers in the midst set a throne mountains in, in uh, involved involved in, and made separating bar between the two seas we see the translation here it says the two body of the water this was translation it says two seas so he separate he put the the land as a bar between the two bodies of the water which is the sea, two seas let us change the translator different liar shakir muhammad shakir okay look what muhammad shakir says and raised it mountain and placed between them two seas as a barrier uh, what he placed he placed the mountains the land as barrier between the two seas so look what your god the egypt allah Aka muhammad saying that in islam you believe that there is two seas one is a fresh water and one is salty water and allah he placed the land between them so they will never transgress and we can find the same in chapter uh, 25 verse number 53 and the muslim make many articles about that and we got them busted it is he who has let the free the two bodies what two bodies this guy keeps saying two bodies there's no two bodies it is two seas and he stupidity let us see another stupid okay two seas so they cannot meet one is a blatable and the other one and, and uh, 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 a sweet uh, uh, blatable and sweet and the other one is saltish bitter and he set the bar forbidding them from meeting they cannot even meet you go to a mikathir mikathir you get all the abdul busted saying clearly that allah he put the bar which is the land between the two seas now if there is a sea it's called water fresh water sea no so this is because your God Allah is ignorant. He think that Muhammad, he think, this is Allah, that the water, salty water and fresh water, they never met. Allah made two seas. Otherwise, how come always we have a fresh water and the seas is never end and the, slow, the, the fresh water never end? But you do not know that salty water is where the fresh water coming from. Stupidity. If we go in the Quran and see chapter 25, verse number 53, we will see the following. All right. <clears throat> you see, we, here we don't give a speech like the Abdul. We give proofs, reference. We don't do what they do. We don't. We get Allah busted. I mean, this website is not functioning right. Okay. Okay. Let us go here. Mm hmm. No, it's not working. <sighs> Quran, I mean, what you can do? We have to go, sorry, 53, 53. 53. We chose the wrong one. 53. But I hope the page will flip now. All right, here we go. This is your tafsir, this is your scholars, this is your imam, this is your big sheikh with the big beard, uh, you know. Uh, let us see what it says, here we go. Salty and bitter, what does that mean? It says it clearly, and look look how smart they are. Uh, this meaning salty, bitter, and not easy to swallow. This is like the seas are known in the east and the west, the Atlantic, blah, 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 here. And then he set a barrier and complete partition between them, meaning between the sweet water and salty water. <laughs> a barrier mean a partition which is a dry land. Let me make it big for the Abdul. So why you lie and you say, and you post a video in YouTube saying, look brother, salty water, fresh water brother are not mixing brother. Actually the verse here is saying they will never met. They will never ever ever met. And you can read the interpretation in front of your eyes. A complete partition. Do you see it? A complete. 
meaning a barrier to prevent one of them to reach in the other. Like is mentioned in the other ayah, Marjul Bahraini Yeltaqiyan, Bainahuma Barazahun, La Yabriyan, Fabi Ayir of Ala Irab Bukumatu Kadiban. He had let's uh, uh, lose the two seas, meaning to, uh, together between them a barrier which none of them can transgress. <laughs> so the silly god of Islam, he think that the fresh water and the salty water never met. So this verse you mentioned to me in the text is enough to prove that Allah is fake and Muhammad is a scam. Next, who's next? Guys, are we showing the proofs? Are we making things up or this is their website? And by the way, Ibn Kathir in English is not even 1% of Ibn Kathir in Arabic. They cut most of the stupid things from Ibn Kathir in the translation. Hmm. Any Abdul? Who is next? Where is your religion? What kind of God he think there is two seas? One is a fresh water and one is salty water and they never mix. You tell me now. You put yourself in trouble. You are the one who mentioned it. Now you answer me. What kind of God he says such a stupid statement? Hmm? Okay, this guy is just being rude, so he's asking me to, to ban him. No problem. And when you say Jesus, he did this, you have to prove it. Did you do you have a proof? I can show you your prophet, Muslims bringing for him three rocks, watching him doing poopoo. -poo. Not only that, there's a hadith says that the prophet, he taught us everything, including how to do poopoo. -poo. Do you want to show you the hadith? If you have something like that about Jesus teaching the Christians, well, show us. Anyway, you deserve now to be banned. Get out of here. We give you a chance. You see, when you get them busted, they get humiliated by such a stupid God, not by me. And then they get upset. Okay, get upset. None of my business. You're the one who mentioned this to me. I show it to you. Why are you upset? What kind of God he think that salty water and fresh water they never met? And they are totally two bodies of water. You tell me. You tell me this is God. You have a God. He don't understand a very simple thing about nature. And yet you are trying to convince me that he is God. And all what you have for me, where Jesus says, I'm God, worship me. And we can show you 1,000 places where Jesus says, I'm God, worship me. Actually, even the Quran confirmed that. And look at this God. This is religion, and this is God, and this is the miracle. And the Muslim, they make, uh, they make sight. It's called miracles of the Quran. Brother, are you sure, brother? The Quran, the book of Islam, contains scientific knowledge that could not have been known 1400 years ago. Brother, are you sure? The brother, who is the brother? He is sure about this, brother. Hmm? Anyone? Who is sure? Anyone is sure? I'm very sure. <laughs> Those websites, they made them for the dummy, you know, the naive. But I can crush all everything here. Actually, it's enough for me to prove one mistake in the Quran to prove Islam is false. That's it. Because, I mean, because remember the Quran, according to Muslim, word by word is from Allah. Not a single word is written by a rabbi or even a prophet. Remember that. This is very important because it's possible that somebody, he understands something wrongly and he'll write it in a book. He's a human. Human, they can do mistakes. But when we say God said, and this God, his words is copied, even the Muslim, they claim that even not even a letter is missing. And that is funny, by the way, because Aisha, she says, even the goat ate the Quran. And until now, the goat is missing. We are looking for it. As you see here, uh, When Muhammad he died, the goat came and ate the Quran. And by the way, I'm so upset from this goat because now we have a huge chapters in the Quran are missing. 
one is speaking about the breast feeding for adult I mean look at this God man this is the only religion teaching men to suckle the boobs of women they are not even their wives not their mothers I mean imagine even if your mother imagine you are 20 or 30 years old or even 14 or even 10 years old or even seven years old and you are sucking the nipples of your mother but this is not about even that it's about sucking the nipples of a woman she is not yours she have nothing to do with you Islam my friend will come to Islam this is not me I'm not the one who said that the goat ate two chapters in front one is a stoning to death and the one is about a breastfeeding who is the Muslim when I give me the breastfeeding adult verse who remember it I like this verse by the way I wish I can practice it I'm hungry hmm? this is Islam this is what you Muslims so you Muslim you order women to cover themselves and then they have to give their boobs to strangers a woman she came to the prophet she said to him my husband is upset from a guy he is in my house he's an adult he's not my son the prophet he said is smiling in his mouth open <laughs> suckle him your breast the woman she said look what the heck he's adult he's a man the prophet I cannot do that the prophet he laughed he said <laughs> I know he's a man just suckle him I mean that's something this is a very conservative religion very it's against adultery obviously this will stop adultery if a man if a, if a man is tracing you in the street a man a crazy man maybe he's a maniac and he's walking behind you and obviously maybe he want to do something wrong to you. according to the prophet of Allah sister you have to give him your breast and that will stop him from sexual harassment wisdom that's wise that's deep that's really deep so where is the Muslims who want to show me what is good about Islam? Are we lying? Everything we say here is in the screen. Everything we say is in the front of you. Not a single word is coming from our pocket. Hmm? Anyone? You will see like a woman, she see a guy walking behind her and she say him, bad boy, what do you want, bad boy, huh? You want nipples, nipples, nipples? I know how to kind of stop you, the prophet taught me. What he taught you? I will take off my bra and give you my breast and you have to suckle them in 10 different days. What the heck? Not only like five minutes, no. You have to do it in 10 different days. <laughs> You have to do it 10 times in 10 different days and each time you have to keep sucking, 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 sucking until you cannot handle it. Is, isn't it that amazing? This is, this is must be from God. This is, this is from God. Obviously, this is from God. Hmm? Yeah. I mean, who can deny that? nobody we have to you know we have to to be careful this is cannot be this is, must be from god this is not from shaitan or devil or crazy man no this is godly thing obvious it's obvious isn't it hmm? you cannot shake their hands but you can shake their and you can suckle them and the funny the muslim they tried lying saying oh this is not about suckling brother a woman she can give milk from her breast so she milk her breast and she give it to you in the cup my friend do you see the word stop lying breast feeding in Arabic is a is somebody putting his lips over the nipples and he is sucking them even you can do that your finger it is sucking something so stop lying to cover the shame even your imams they have fatwas about it the highest imam in Lazar University he made a fatwa and then the Muslim like what what are you talking about and they brought him to TV and he told him yes but this is what the Prophet said it's not me no this is not me 
Mm. Anyway, my friends, I will be uh, stop lying. Who is that? Who is the one saying that? Queen, Queen, you are saying that to me. The Queen, are you saying that to me? I'm, I'm lying. Who is who is the one who's lying here, guys? I'm showing you the story here in front of you. Oh, okay. She is not talking to me. Okay, I thought she is talking to me. That because you hurt my feeling now. By the way, I bought a special glue because each time I debate Muslims, they crush me, and I glue myself together again. I mean, I am number one uh, buyer for a glue. Uh, Second glue. Sometimes I buy like different kind. I mean, like it's a it's a glue. I glue myself because the Muslims have no clue what Islam is about. <laughs> Oh boy. And the funny they say to you, Islam is amazing, brother. Alhamdulillah. Brother, Alhamdulillah. Hey, brother, Alhamdulillah, for what? For what? Oh boy. Any Abdul? Hmm? Look, I wrote, I said, oh boy, in the same time the text came, people saying, oh boy, you guys are reading my mind. Some of you are really scary here. Can you talk about Pharaoh and Islam? We can talk about anything, no problem. But um, I'm really disappointed. I thought I'm going to get some Abdul who want to show us something truthful about Islam. Anyway, my topic today is not about Islam really, but the Muslims in their comment, they made me go in that direction. So we were talking about fake war, fake war, fake prophets, fake leaders, fake Netanyahu, fake Nasrallah, fake Muhammad, fake Allah. Everything is fake, my friend. Everything is fake. And the funny that people like fake. They love fake. I mean, they hate the truth. The truth hurt. So what what they do? They seek illusion so they can enjoy the fake. This is why many people, they love fiction stories. It's fake. Make you relax. Nothing had to do with reality. People fly. The guy, Batman. But Batman. I mean, are you crazy? Yes, but Batman. Batman, Batwoman, Superman, Spider-Man, Shish Kebab Man, Rabbit Man. I mean, just tomorrow they will come to you with something new. You know, Chicken Man. Just wait, it's coming. So, because we have a lot of a pressure, and pressure is coming mostly from reality, and reality most of the time is ugly. So we skip from the world of reality and we create an image of someone, even he is the most ugly, disgusting person, we make him the most beautiful man. Muhammad, brother. The merciful Muhammad. Muhammad used to put nails in the eyes of people. Muhammad, he used to rape women. Muhammad, he cut fingers, cut hands. He enjoyed torturing. We can show you the reference. And we did thousands of times. What is beautiful about him? What is that? But they escape reality. And this is exactly what they do here. When you show them the stupidity in the front of their eyes, they go in denial because this, the truth hurt. It hurt. Right? Do we have any Muslim want to say something? Any one from the Abdulism? But you know, uh, we have to be honest. There are some stories in Islam is I like it. I enjoy it a lot. Sometimes I feel like I want to be a kid again, and I like to watch those first story. So I think that I will show you, brother, some of the story. Okay, I will go to the Quran, brother, and I will find you a very beautiful story. Uh, fit perfectly, brother, for our aid. Okay, brother, there is a king brother, his name is uh, Sulaiman brother, and this king brother, he, Allah taught him the language of the birds brother, but he understand the ants, like what, 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 
Allah, he taught him the language of the bird, but he understand the language of the ants. <laughs> and what? He heard the speech of the ant. The ant. The ant was talking, but the ant don't talk. He heard her speech. What? Speech. Are you sure, brother? Since when the ants did talk? Yes, ants, they talk in their own way, but it's not speech. He heard, he heard, he heard her speech. That's what the Quran is saying. But ants are deaf and they are mute. They communicate by vibration and by chemical. And then the Muslim brother, they say to you, a brother, a brother, a miracle in the Quran, brother. In chapter 27, verse number 18, brother, it says, Qalat namla. <laughs> Brother, do you know that in Discovery Channel, brother, they discovered that the word namla is proven to be true because it's a female namla, brother, and namla, it's a female brother which is in charge of guardian. What, what? She is the one who guard and alarm, but brother in Arabic, the word namla we use it for both this is not about gender here we call all ants when they are individual we call them namla really brother yes uh, brother but the uh, zakar naik brother he said the word namla is a female brother yes in that uh, as, as word yes but this is the word we use for male and female it's an insect when we speak most of the insect in arabic we call them as females as an example, Zubaba. <laughs> Zubaba, which means a fly. So in Arabic, we have, you know, words, which is a female word, but it doesn't mean that the thing is a female. As an example, we can use some words for um, uh, stars. And the, the name of the star can be female, but the star is not a female. So they take it and they make a story. And here, the, the madness, the stupidity. She, uh, 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 Prophet Solomon, he have an army of genie, humankind, and birds. Uh, are you one of my soldiers? Oh yeah, what's your rank? Drill sergeant. Uh huh. Yeah, uh, Allah he blessed me and he taught me the language of the birds. And then Suleiman, after he taught by Allah the language of the birds, he was listening to the ant. I think Allah, he think that the ant is the bird too. Hmm. Okay. And then, brother, he walked in the valley, brother, and he found a bird is missing. This bird, his name is Al Hudhud. And he thought, sought among the birds. You see, because he have an army of birds, brother. I mean, look. He have an army of birds. Look, look, look. Here we go. And birds. He have soldiers was gathered together. Huh? Armies. Look, 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 look. This is all the armies. What his army contain? Jinn, humankind, and birds. A chicken in the army of Solomon. Laying eggs now. I mean, that's so beautiful. I mean, science. This is brother science. And then, so don't. And then, uh, then after Suleiman, he heard the speech and he smiled. What is kidding me here in the story that the ant she said, the ant she said, enter your dwelling, lest Solomon uh, and his army will crush you. What is driving me crazy, brother? How she knew the name of the king? I mean, this this ant is an ant. Okay, we got it. Allah taught Suleiman how to speak the language of the birds. But yet the ant is not a bird. Let it go. But how the ant, she knew that his name is Solomon. Muslim have an idea? Imagine I'm walking in the street and one of the ants, she said the other ants, aunties, aunties, may they, may they hide. The Christian prince is coming. Like what the heck? How she knew my name? How the ant knew I am a Christian prince? The ant, she said, hide, otherwise Solomon will crush you. How she knew the name? It's a beautiful story. Mm, so cute. 
Tika mo nika tika 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 kau cuci dadi. Hmm. Nyamnya, 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 nyamnya. Tika 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 tika. And even Mr. Bean did not come with this. I mean, you read the chapter 18, you will die laughing. And then they say to you, miracles of the Quran. Honey in the Quran. What honey in the Quran? The Quran speak about honey as, as it is the poop of the bees. And the bees, they eat fruit. Hmm? Here we go. Let me show you. Look at this article. They are saying to you, uh, Shifa meaning healing. The Quran here referring for healing from the honey. My friend, the honey is used for healing. Even in the Bible is mentioned thousands of years before Muhammad was born. I mean, what's wrong with you Muslims? The Chinese even use it. I mean, everybody use honey for it. Unbelievable. But, but, but look, the Quran say claim. Let me go to the front verse. There's a chapter called the chapter of the bees. I mean, you feel like you are in the zoo in the Quran. Uh, <clears throat> and Allah inspired the ants, sorry, the bees, saying, talk your habitation in the mountain and the trees. Ah, oh, this is Allah, okay. And then eat all the fruits. And from their belly, they will come, honey. <laughs> So the Quran teach that bees eat fruit and do shit. Sorry, let's not say the word shit. Did I say shit? They shit honey. This is what he's saying. So the Quran teaching you that the the the, the bees they uh, they eat fruits and they do poop with honey. But this is wrong. The honey is their food, my friend. They are not eating fruits. Bees don't eat fruits. They don't. Somebody told you that the bees go and take a bite from the apple. Uh, they don't. <laughs> Science. This is deep. This is very deep. This is very deep. Very, very, very deep. Uh, do we have any Muslim want to say something? I see some names are meant to insult Muslims. Please change them. Otherwise, I will ask the admins to block you from the channel. I don't want to see somebody calling Muslims names by his name. So change your name to avoid being blocked. I will block you. I'm warning you. Anyone have a name meant to insult Muslims? We are here to debate about religion. Muslims are poor people. They need our help. Fear for them. They are not here to hear insult from you. Even if they insult you, this is the, the, if there are people who insult, we will not do the same. So if anyone, he named his name, he have a name, meant to insult Muslims, I'm going to block you. This is a warning. Kabich, we, you know, we, I'm, I, I'm not against the Muslims. You know, if I'm against them, why I want to invite them to accept Jesus? I will never do that. I mean, you invite people to Jesus, that's mean those... I mean, this is the best we have. Why well, want to invite someone I don't like or I hate to Jesus? Absolutely, we don't hate the Muslims. We want them to be saved. We are showing them how stupid it is, but because we don't want to, we are not making love. We are not laughing at them. They are poor. We are laughing at the lies. Right? So let us be smart. And this is not against, we are not doing anything here against Muslims. The Muslims are not really our enemies according to me according to me as a christian islam is the problem my friend the enemy of us as a christian is lies who is the father of all lies jesus said the devil that is our enemy a muslim person he has been lied to he's a poor man poor woman they grow up in this society he been hearing all day long how amazing the quran all the lies what do you expect be loving, my friend. Be loving. Be merciful, and uh, let us let us uh, let us uh, do good, so the Muslims will, will will see the truth. And maybe I speak in a comedian way because it's a silly. It's a comedy. I mean, what I can do? I cannot. I cannot hold it. I cannot help it. Right? But we have to be nice to them. Uh, uh, look, hold on, hold on, hold on. A Muslim is saying any Nasrani. 
you see here first of all the Muslim when they say any Nasrani he is trying to insult first of all as long you ask me and you said any Nasrani can you explain to us why your prophet he could not call us the correct name if we are Nasrani that's mean we are going to go to heaven because according to your prophet all Nasara are going to go to heaven secondly when you say uh, Jesus never gave you holy book or holy verses or any law so how you fake Bible thank you very much guys let me put the question of this man in the uh, on the chat and on the screen okay you see how a Muslim he helped us to destroy Islam Jesus never give you any book did he say that okay so you just approved to us that Muhammad is a big fat liar because the Quran says that Jesus he gave us a book it's called an Injil and this Injil was given to Jesus and not only that Muhammad himself in his Quran asking the Christians to obey the Torah and the Injil the Torah and the Injil read with me carefully we go with this one first let the people of the Injil so how silly you are to say that Jesus did not give us a book when your silly prophet saying no he gave us you just say Jesus never gave us a law never gave us a book your Quran saying Jesus gave us a law and gave us a book and even the Quran asking us to obey it very silly naive little kid they are like kids you know they are they are like a teenage but they are 40 50 years old but they are silly kids low IQ they have nothing to say that's the best you have so you just agreed that whatever who, whoever wrote the Quran either him is lying or you are lying everybody saw your question and it's in the screen that Jesus never gave us a book and never gave us a law uh, okay the Quran is lying not only that, the Quran is asking us to obey the order of Jesus, which is in the Injil. And not to forget to mention why Allah here is saying, we send a book after confirming what is sent before. Actually, it doesn't say that in Arabic. Confirm what is with them. The Quran confirming the book which is with us. So not only we have a book, and not only that, just to show you how silly you are, isn't it the Quran keep calling us people of the book, people of the book? <laughs> so if we have no book, why your, your, your crazy God keep calling us people of the book? I mean, one of the funny things about Islam and the stupidity of the teaching of Islam that the Muslim, they say your book is corrupt and you have no book. Yet they call us, if you ask them, okay, what we are called in the in the book of Islam, they call you the people of the book. But you just said we don't have a book. How we don't have a book, but yet you call us people of the book, brother. Have you ever heard of a bald man one was called the guy with the hair? I'm going to call a brother Sam Shamoon and I will call him brother with the hair. Can you answer me? But he have no hair. Hello? Stupidity. Get me some get me someone smart. Can you please get me someone smart? Please, please, please. I mean, just for a snack. Right? Hmm. I'm a coward. Why? Ah, is, is me, my name is Muhammad, the guy who hide in the house of Aisha when they, when they broke his teeth? Ah, is that me, the coward, who a man, a Bedouin man came to my house and say, I want to sleep with your wife. And I said to him, but she is the mother of the believers? What a coward. The guy, he just insulted him. And not only that. Aisha, she said, who, um, who is this man who can say such a thing to you? He said, Ahmaqun muta. He's a fool we have to obey, which means if he insists to sleep with you, you take off your panty. Who is that coward? 
the one who asked his cousin the child Ali to sleep in his bed so he can run away so the child will be killed what kind of an act of a hero imagine you have a movie and the hero in the movie Sylvester Stallone he asked a child to sleep in his bed so he can escape and then the, the mafia they go in the bed and they shoot him and now supposedly Muhammad is a hero who is the coward hmm? anyone as you see we are out of luck there is no Muslim here can bring something good to the table nothing nothing they have nothing Jesus hey when he did not give you any gospel verse or any law okay hold on can you tell me the Quran you are reading right now is called the Quran of O just to show you isn't it the Quran we are reading it's called Quran of Uthman did Muhammad write the Quran for you where is the book of Muhammad see guys if you go with their logic you will find that the Muslims are bankrupt where is the Quran of Muhammad actually even Muhammad should not write Quran the Quran says Allah said it is on us to recite and to collect the Quran so where is the Quran which is collected by Allah hmm Abdul Read with me carefully. In love. Where is your Quran? Chapter 75, verse number 17. Allah, he made a promise that he is going to collect the Quran. Where it is? Where is the Quran collected by Allah? You just said, Jesus did not give you a book. What is the book of Muhammad made by Muhammad? You don't have one. What is the Quran? Even the one made by Uthman, you don't have it. This is a recitation according to, 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 according to a guy, his name is Hafs. And Hafs was exists more than 200 years after Muhammad. And not only that, the Muslims accuse him that he was a fraud. Fraud. Your Quran. The one you see here is a recitation, not a book. You don't have a book. Recitation of a guy, he been accused to be a fraud, a thief, a liar. So I find it very silly when a Muslim make a comment. All right, guys, I think we have enough for today. Uh, did we have a good time? Don't forget, please, to download the videos because soon I'm going to take them off all. So download them all and so we can refresh our... Uh, 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 in the new, new, you know, loads of videos, and uh, I will be back in the state in a few days from now. So we start going back to normal, and we can take a, a Skype call, and powerful Muslims can call us. I mean, all Muslims are powerful. You know, guys, I just I will tell you a secret. When a Muslim he call me, and I am live, I start shaking. I get scared. I don't know what to say. Very embarrassing because they are so smart and so powerful and very sharp. And they have answer for anything. As an example, why the prophet kissed the black stone, brother? Uh, because the black stone is holy. Ek, brother. And why it is holy? Because the prophet kissed it. Uh, uh, huh? Uh, okay, let's go back to zero why the black stone is holy uh, uh, why the prophet kissed the black stone uh, because uh, the black stone is holy okay and why the uh, black stone is holy because the prophet kissed it and why he kissed it? because it's holy I mean very very sharp deep knowledge I mean knowledge knowledge and high standard of intelligence amazing and yet they call you pagan and the funny look at this guy this guy he is have an icon of his next to his face uh, of a black animal isn't it your prophet he says kill every black color animal because it's the devil obviously you are a fake muslim 
Hmm? Let me show you the hadith. Your white supremacist prophet, because he's a cult leader, he taught Muslims any black animal, any animal which is totally pure black, must be killed. And yet you are putting an icon next to your face. Of a black animal, brother? And why, brother, we have to kill the black one, brother? Because it's a devil, brother. Mm, really? Super smart, super intelligent, and super racist. Just because the poor animal is a totally pure black, we kill him? Yes, brother. Why? Because he's the devil, brother. Obviously, it's the devil, brother. <laughs> they ask him, what is the difference between black dog and yellow dog? He said, brother, the black dog is the devil. If, 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 if. That is knowledge. Three things will disturb the Muslim prayer. Okay, what does three things disturb Muslim prayer, brother? A woman and a dog and a donkey. Mm -hmm. What kind of a dog and why women? They made they made women and donkeys and dogs are equal. Look, look at this religion. You see it? Three things, brother, destroy your prayer when you are praying. If a woman walk by, if a dog, black dog walk by, if an ass. And look, they put the woman in the middle. Take selfie. If you are a Muslim woman, take selfie. Ass in the right, black dog in the left, anyone in the middle, smile, cheese. Okay. I said, oh, brother, what feature is the black dog which distinguish it from uh, the red one, brother? Uh, or the yellow one, the yellow dog. He said, oh, son of my brother, I asked the messenger of Allah as you ask me. Okay. What the prophet he says, the black dog is the devil. Oof, 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 oof. That's deep. That's obviously deep. Isn't it obvious that this guy he have a phobia of a black people, black color, black animals? He make fun of a black people. Even he says the most enemy Allah he hate is a black man, which is nothing but filthy racism. And we for sure we are against such a stupidity. Black people have nothing different from us. They are human like us. And many of them, they are even better than us. And many of us, you know, like, I mean, we have bad and good everywhere. What color have to do with being bad or good? Actually, just yesterday, and I will pause the video maybe later, uh, I was in a church and a wonderful black African man, he bowed down in the church praying. Amazing, beautiful, you know, very humble. So he's a black man. There's many white men, they came in, they go out, they did not even bow down. You know, they did not even care. They acting like just coming to see. So a black man, or being black or being white, will not change anything. Jesus said, from their fruits you shall know them, not from their color. For the for the for our Father, for God, he loved the world. The world, my friend, the world is Asian, black, white, everybody. Indian, doesn't matter. He loved the whole world. He sent the Messiah for to save us all. And nobody is better than anyone. And then the Muslim, they bring you a sermon. It's called the last sermon, which is fabricated. The last sermon of Muhammad, where he says supposedly that black and white are equal. We cannot find that this is this is this is not in any authentic book. And I changed the Muslim, by the way, to show me the authentic hadith of this story. It's a fabricated. Anyway, I think we are we have uh, we have enough for today. Uh, did we have a good time, guys? Did we have a good time? I apologize in the beginning; the voice was not good. But what we can do? I mean, uh, sometimes the technically difficult. I think it because I'm using a black microphone. Man, I never thought about that. Mm.
Right? This is this is what they call superstition, stupidity. Black dog is the devil. What the, black cat is the devil? Black bird is the devil. Black horse is the devil. What is that? That is a, that is not a sign that you are stupid. That's that's mean you are stupid. That is not a sign of a stupid. This is mean you are the stupidity. Right? This is absolutely evil and disgusting, and for sure rejected scientifically, and for us as a Christian, for sure this is absolutely false teaching. False. Te Actually, the first people, by the way. Who accepted the Messiah? Like we heard about in, in this, the the city of Antioch, but right away Christianity spread all the way to India. There's a very old church went all the way to Mumbai by Apostle Thomas. Uh, and uh, same for Egypt. You know, African, they accepted the Messiah. Ethiopia is one of the oldest churches. The Christianity is for all. There's nothing to what this is. And then Muhammad, the Muslim, they tried to make Islam as like is an international. Well, I can show you tons of hadith against the black people and tons of hadith against Asian people. And not only that, there is a statement where it says the one who say the prophet is black, kill him. Just by saying that. And the Muslims in the hadith praising Muhammad for you have a white uh, shin, white underarm, white belly bone. And the Quran says that Allah himself, he will not allow anyone to enter heaven unless he make him totally white first. If you remember, this is in many verses in the Quran. All right. Chapter 3, verse number 106, as an example. The day where Allah, he will make faces black and white. And how that will happen? If you remember in chapter 27, verse number 82, Allah will send a beast. It's called a Jassasa, which is a beast come from the ground, sent by Allah, and is going to have the stick of Moses and the ring of Solomon. And I will continue this story maybe in my coming. For now, beautiful uh, adult and children, I want to say thank you for watching us and listening to the fairy tale of Allah and Akka Muhammad for all of it is nothing but superstition fictions and lies and those who live lies they die with them i am not going to follow such a stupid thing my lord the messiah he loved all mankind and he never taught us to be uh, against any kind of animals because of their colors even forbidden eating like in the old old testament forbidden eating certain kind of animals that was for a health reason. As an example, the pigs, the pigs they used to grow like they are wild and they eat anything. There's no control of their food. And pigs, even they can eat human being who's dead. And at that time, people, they fight, kill each other by the sword. And then the pig, he eat whatever he find. So everything have a reason was not because God he is against the pig. He created the pig. But in the Islam, you find that Muhammad, he had a phobia. He have a phobia of the cross. He have a phobia of the pig. He have a phobia of many things. Phobia, phobia of the black people. Flower. I mean, it's a crazy. So, release yourself from the phobia. Be free, and the only one can make you and set you free is the Lord, the Messiah. He is my Savior, and I confess my sin to Him. I am a sinner. The Lord is my witness. I don't claim to be better than anyone. The Lord is my witness. I don't claim to be a priest or a bishop. The Lord is my witness. I have nothing to save me except him. Not my good deeds, but because the good deeds of a human being is the same as a faith Iraq. But we as a Christians, we do good deeds for it is the fruit of a Christian, but not because this is will save us. So you as a Christian, the second you believe in the Messiah, you produce good deeds. It's automatic for faith without fruits is dead faith so this is why jesus he said from their fruits you shall know them not from their color not from their names you call yourself a christian prince you call yourself christian princes it doesn't make you christian from their fruits so my friend prepare your fruits for the lord one day he will come to you in your house 
and he will ask you for what you have. Either you will say, I have nothing, or you will say, I have a lot. Choose and be ready. With this, I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. We love the Muslims. We love all everybody. We, live, we love the Hindus. We love the, even the atheists. We love everybody. We want everybody to be saved. We don't want people to be humiliated. We don't want people to be lost. We love everybody. I believe a human being can be a very beautiful creature if he decides to be, and he can be very evil if he decides to be. So you have to change yourself, and you have to choose what you want to be, and one day you will be responsible for your choice. Thank you very much for being here. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon again. Take care. Bye-bye.